how is native feminist theory different from feminism? Because we talk about settler colonialism. What we, does that mean? Uh, well, like, you know, we talk about the colonization of the United States, right? And how it's a settler col colony, how, you know, settlers came here to stay, right? And to take over, not just to, like, you know, be here. Right. So white feminism doesn't have that feature. And we actually all talk, like, native feminisms talks about hope and about, like, trying to find a different way to be in the world. Like, I, I feel like it's a very different kind of philosophy. We're actually not just interested in victimhood, because if we were, right, that would be, you know, we would never get anywhere with that. But who came up with this? Who decided, let me call it native feminist theory, who came up with it? And don't you have to be high to come up with stuff like that, like hallucinating? No, I think it's, I think it's brilliant, and I've, I'm very proud to be a part of that field. Did you make up that theory? No, I did. I'm just part of it. Who made it up? I mean... Go get your money back. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it's, I don't know how you sit around and you come up with ideas like that. You have to be like, hallucinate with the peyote or on some pot. No, I, that's actually not true. But you, do you know who, you don't know who created this idea? Well, I'm trying to, I mean, I'm not sure who I want to give credit to for oh. that. Because, there, I mean, that's the thing. There's actually a long history of Native feminisms, right? Do, do you talk about the Native women who were, because that's the thing. Native nations, like, they, like, you know, men and women have different roles. And there's also two-spirited people, queer people in the nation. So everybody just has different roles. It's not like one is better than the other, right? Because right. you need somebody like home, farming, taking care of the children, right? Like preparing the food, you know, doing their little gardens and stuff. And, you know, men can go out and do warfare and like, you know, go get beasts and stuff like. <laughs> so, right. so, you know, I feel like these things are complementary. It wasn't about like one is better than the other. Like it was just. I want to ask you this really fast. You said that you, that homosexuality is normal to you. Yes. And LGBTQ and all that is normal. Yes. And so if a man put on a dress and lipstick and say that he is a woman, is he really a woman or he just think he is, but in reality he is not? If, if he believes he's a woman, I mean, if she believes she's a woman, she's a woman. So. <laughs> but in reality it's not, you just believe that. It depends on, I mean, no, I, I believe that they get to be what they want to be. But would you see a, a man, a, a woman in, men, in a pantsuit and saying that she's a man, but you see, with your eyes, you see as a woman, would you pretend that it is a, a man? I, I would ask how they wanted to have their gender identified. And you pretend that it's whatever they say? I would respectfully believe that they, I, I'm going to respect their beliefs to identify as they wish. But in your mind, you know it's not real. It, it's, re it's real to me if it's real for them. So. In your mind. I mean, do you think I'm passing as a woman right now? Are you? I mean, am I a woman? You just made me nervous, are you? I, I don't know. You don't know what you is? <laughs> well, what I'm, you, I'm just what saying. What you is. That's black. You don't know what you are. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you is. You don't know what you no, are. No, I, I identify as a woman. And why? Because I mean, that's how I want to identify. Did I, God made you that way? I mean, I, I don't think God made me that way. I think that the you know. Were you born a woman or a female? I was born a woman. Oh, okay. Um, is there is there a difference between Native American women and white women? I think Native women are better looking. Better looking than white women. <laughs> Ooh. No, I just, oh. I always say that to my students. I'm like, if you learn one thing about Native people, it's that we're very good looking. Are, are Native women better looking than black women? I don't know. Why you don't know that? Well, because I'm like, I'm not going to, the, the race, you know, different other race stuff. You scared to so. say that about the black. Well, I'm not, yeah, I'm well, not messing with black people, uh, so I'm, I'm with them. Black Lives Matter burning down your house if you say <laughs> Well, and I mean, it really, yeah, it really does depend, obviously. What does it mean to decolonize the native body? Well, that's a very detailed question, right? Because one of the things, you know, of boarding schools and of colonization period was to try to make it seem that our bodies are like nasty and not good, right? That they're, un they're unclean, they're, they're filthy, right? So I think one of the things we need to do is to start thinking about... Um, 
like how our bodies are good, how we are, how we are good people, like how all of us is actually beautiful instead of like trying to go to like white beauty standards or like not accepting ourselves as we are. And so are white people making you feel inferior like that? I, I'm not blaming that on, I mean, it's like, it's part of our culture. Our culture is very white dominated, right? It has very, like very specific white standards of beauty. So the white quote unquote dominated culture are, are making you and Indians feel less about their culture, uh, less beauty or they are making you feel that way. Well, I'm just saying when you have all the shows, like all the books, almost everything about Native people is very distorted or negative or doesn't actually have anything to do with us, has to do with actually with white people, then it's hard to feel good about your own self and your own body. Um, you were not raised with both parents, your father and mother, right? Right. So do you believe that if you have been raised with both parents and you were close to your father that you would be insecure like that? Well, I mean, you'll be happy to know that I had a white stepfather. I knew, I'm talking about your real father, though. Well, I mean, I have no idea. But just when you think about it, when you smoke on it, do you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> do you believe that if you were close to your father, he was there, your mother and father were together, you loved your father, that white people or anyone can make you feel inferior? No, I don't. I don't think that has anything to do with it. You think you would still feel inferior? I don't feel inferior. But the Indians that white people make them feel that way, if they were raised as with two parents, decent examples, would they still be made to feel inferior? Well, I think we should talk about why they don't get to be two-parent households, right? Because no, they're not getting married. Well, also because, like, you know, Native men, like black men, are incarcerated at very high rates. They're, like, serving our nation overseas. They're committed in crime. So, well, I mean, we're li more likely to get caught, too. Right, and, and go to jail because they don't have money to get good lawyers. Exactly. So that ain't the white man's fault. Well, I think it is, actually. So the white man to blame for everything. Well, the thing is, no. I mean, because what I'm trying to say, too, is like working class white people are also not able to get, like, good lawyers, right? Right. But the racial profiling might not go, you know, they might not get pulled over for being, you know, driving while white, right? But that's not true. That's made up. What the blacks are doing. Well, that's what I, yeah, you and I completely disagree about that. No, so. I'm black. I know you're black. I'm as black as the ace of space. <laughs> well, how many times have you been pulled over? In my entire life? I, I'm just, Maybe I'm just saying. Maybe twice. I remember saying, twice. Yeah. I mean, and you don't think racial it, profiling had anything to do with those not situations? Not one I order. So. Because I was raised different than the other blacks. I wasn't raised to hate the whites, blame other people. I wasn't born out of wedlock. You know, I have, I have my stepfather, my mother got married before I was born, so I wouldn't be born out of wedlock. But black people, when I was growing up, black people got married. Mm -hmm. They believed in God. Mm -hmm. They loved all people. They treated everybody the same. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't blamed. I wasn't raised in a, a victim mentality. And so when I was stopped by the cops, I followed the instructions. Mm -hmm. They did what they needed to do. And they said, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And they went their way. But the blacks today are acting out, they're cursing out the cops, they're, you know, they're running, they're criminals, they're running. What do you think gonna happen? Well, how is that, how is that the cops' fault? Well, I, I mean, it's very much, I mean, that's the thing though, we're talking about structural inequalities that go back before the beginning of the United States. And you, you're not just gonna like, pretend that these things don't exist. You can, you, that's one of the ways you can what, go what, about it. What did this. you say? Structural inequalities. What did it have to do with anything? Well, it, if it's way harder for you to get housing, to get a job, to um, to go to college, to have any ways to get ahead, that will make your life much harder to be like successful in the so U.S. version. So are you version. saying that it's harder for the Indians or the blacks to get a job? Both for both of us. But the blacks don't get the job because they don't want the job. They're lazy. Uh, I, I mean, that, I disagree. I mean, they, they, well, they say the same thing about Indians. Because so. And the Indians are that way, too. You know why? Because they, the white people made a mistake by giving the Indians, Indians too much free stuff. We did not get anything free. They yeah, stole got free everything. Land. No, we, that got land free, was ours. Free gambling clubs and all that, kinds of stuff. Well, do you know, because we, we're sovereign nations, we get to decide what we want to do on our nations. But that makes you lazy, though. I disagree. And one thing about white people, they love to work. You notice that? That's not what I've seen. They love to steal. 
What did I steal? Our lands, like, uh, like, our, like our culture, like they tried to assimilate us. They wouldn't accept that we are the way we are. Like, I mean, I could keep, you know, instilled heteropatriarchy. I mean, all these different things that were very so violent what, systems. what do y'all want now from the whites? What do you want them to give I you? want them, we've been wanting them to leave us alone for a long time. But they don't bother you guys. You guys uh, chase they them. They do bother us. How do they bother you now? They come in and they'll like put like nuclear waste on our nations without like permission. I mean, there's still all these things happening. They like will try to put pipelines through our nations. That's amazing. Even though we disagree. But that would provide jobs. Well, at the cost of destroying the land, at the but cost... But they're not doing anything with the land anyway. Well, we don't want a pipeline going over the water source of the whole nation. Well, Does that make sense? Need Especially to do when the white town was like, don't put it through our country, right? Don't put it through our place. Put it on the Indians' land. And that's exactly what they ended up doing. I, want you, I need you to define something for me. Hetero patriarchy. What is that? It's exactly what you think it might be. It's like patriarchy, but then like making sure we're talking about heterosexuality straight too. men so like and, just like straightness period what's so. wrong with that well I, I think it's a very dominant source that everybody has to try to live up to thank you you're supposed to live up to it that's why it's hetero <laughs> well I actually I, I think it's oppressive to everybody to bring, uh, 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 heterosexual men are supposed to bring women and children out of the hell that they're in that's why it's hetero Patriotic. Well, they're failing, so you better get it together. Because you guys are acting so rebelling. <laughs> well, I wish, I mean, then you all are not doing a very good job, so. I agree. So. They don't weep because the mama destroyed them when they were kids. Well, I feel like we have to work together. I don't know why that would be such a bad thing. Uh, hetero patriarchy, so you're in favor of that? You're, no. You're against that? I critique it, yes. Well, uh, I, I don't think it's, I'm not a, like completely, like people can go and do that, but the fact it like creates all this inequality is that's the part I think is messed you up. You love heterosexual? Do I love hetero? I mean, I think people can go be heterosexual. That's great. What do you mean go be it? Do you love it? Though? Do I love it? No. You, you, would you prefer a straight man or a gay man? I don't prefer men. So. Oh, you like women? I like different types of people, so. You mess around with women, though? Yes. You're a lesbian? Yes, I identify as queer woman. You're a lesbian? Yeah, you didn't, how did you not get this from your research? I do queer indigenous theory, that's like uh, my other but thing. But I didn't know you were a lesbian. Well, you, I identify as being queer. But you don't look like a lesbian. <laughs> well, what are we no, supposed to look like? No you don't want to like? have a baby. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have more you options. You are a lesbian? Yes. I mean, yeah, you could, I mean, identify as queer, but. A queer lesbian. Well, I mean, yeah, lesbian I'm has its own. I'm stunned that you're a lesbian. So, I don't live in the suburbs or. But why you look so feminine if you're a lesbian? Because that's the way I choose to, you know, to be in the world. To be feminine. To like be feminine. Lady. To be, yeah. And so do you like hot lesbians? It depends on the person. Yeah. You like lesbians that act like men? It really depends on who it is, so. Wow. I mean, I also just really love beautiful women of different, all kinds of types. So well, not that much love. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I do. You have just blown me away. I was blown away once before. I was interviewing a, a white male mm -hmm. Catholic kind of a guy, mm -hmm. and he had, <laughs> he had his collar on, mm -hmm. and I never thought of him as a homosexual. Right. And then he said to me, he was a homosexual. I'm like, you're a homosexual. <laughs> And then when he was sitting, it made me take my, you know, focus my eyes, and I, and I saw that he was home, he was homosexual. Because because we said it different. Like yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> so how do the lesbian know that you're a lesbian? I I mean I don't know. So when you're out at the bar, do you like wear your lesbian hat or something? I mean I I mean I guess you do kind of sense that somebody might be you know queer I guess so. Or not, you just ask people, right? So what is it like knowing that you surprise me right now, that you're a lesson but you don't look like you, you don't act like it? I actually love to be surprising.